Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be making a chicken feet hot and sour soup. For those of you who just found my channel today, thank you and welcome on board. For my subscribers, thank you so much for visiting my channel again. Here is the new recipe for today and hang in there. We're gonna go through this quickly. I'm using one tray of chicken feet and one tray of chicken wing. I know some of you have not had chicken feet before and eating it may sound unappetizing to some people but it is considered a delicacy in many Asian countries. If you had dim sum before, you will always find the name Phoenix Claws on the menu. Chicken feet in general is notorious for its collagen content. I will add in a link under the description below so you can read more about the benefit of chicken feet. This recipe is on a spicy side, so if you can handle spicy, um, I would suggest to use one to two chilies only and you can add Tabasco sauce at the end if need to. Using a scissor, cut off the tip of the chicken feet. This is not a part that I like to do, but in order to cook my chicken feet soup, um, I need to cut the tips off. I'm using an eight quarts pot. Fill water up to about half of the pot and add in chicken wing and chicken feet. Bring water to boil and remove impurities as needed to keep the broth clear. Turn down the heat to low and cook for about one hour. This is a Thai recipe so I will need to use chili. I'm using 1 8 cup of green chili and cut off the top. Since I'm only using 1 8 cup of chili instead of a quarter cup, I'm going to dry fry it with one teaspoon of salt to bring out flavor. I'm using one shallot and cut it into strips. Add it into the soup. While my soup is cooking, I'm going to prepare my sauce using two limes. Mix chili and lime juice and add in four tablespoons of sugar. If need to, I will adjust my sweetness later. Give it a good stir to dissolve the sugar and finally add in 2 tablespoons of fish sauce. Once again, adjustment to saltiness can be done later. Tasted my sauce and it wasn't salty enough so I then added in an additional 1 tablespoon of fish sauce. And for this recipe, I don't use any garlic at all. Don't be alarmed, so far we only use 3 tablespoons of fish sauce. Since I added 1 more tablespoon of fish sauce, I then added 2 more tablespoons of sugar to balance the taste. Pour this entire sauce into the soup base. For this recipe, I added in carrots and Chinese Napa cabbage. Also added in cherry tomato, and I almost forgot, added in one kaffir lime leaf. Finally, to finish my soup, I added in five leaves of basil. Turn off the heat. If you enjoy watching this video so far, please give me two seconds of your time. Click the buttons below, share, like, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that and thank you. This is a very simple and easy recipe to prepare, but it had lots of flavor within the soup itself. Here is my secret ingredient, fresh, papaya fruit. Fresh papaya fruit is amazingly refreshing. It added sweetness and color to my soup and take the heat off my palate. This is a perfect dish for springtime, 
Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Until then, take care and I'll see you on my next video.